For local artist Wang Tingfeng, the concrete wall of this warehouse is the perfect canvas. He wants his mural to be seen by those who live and make a living in this working class neighborhood. He says it represents their struggle to survive in an expensive, fast-paced city. Hong Kong was once a fishing village. We have to understand how the fish lives. They keep swimming until they die. So it's like Hong Kong people working and working until they die. Artists have spray-painted walls to create a public art space in the industrial district of Wang Chukang. Many of the buildings here have auto mechanic shops, factories and warehouses. The public will just walk around the road, it's like daily life. They will just see the artwork when they go to school, they go out to have lunch. So I think this is like more, well, more easily accessible. The outdoor gallery is in stark contrast to the other events taking place during Hong Kong's Art Month, set in glamorous locations and galleries. Many who have come here say it's not just the unusual location that sparked their interest, they are also curious about the art form. From my family, I was told in the same way that uh, doing spray painting and graffiti on the wall is not good. But after studying art, I found out actually we should appreciate those kind of artwork being on the street as this is also expression from people. Children in Hong Kong are told that defacing property, including graffiti, is a crime. So this is a novelty. But graffiti is starting to become a more acceptable form of art due to its inclusivity as the city is mostly dominated with high-end galleries, which many can find intimidating and expensive. Um, comparing with the um, art in the gallery, it's free. Yeah, it's the most important. It's free for people. And that's exactly why the artist known as Messy Desk took part in this year's festival. She wants to dismiss the notion that art is just for the privileged few. Her offering, a collaboration with a Korean artist, depicting Hong Kong's architecture in a colorful collection of buildings and stairs. I think this is a gift for, the, for everyone in Hong Kong. I hope they can feel happy when they see my artwork in the street. The artists here say their work will transform the neighborhood and the way art is viewed. Divya Gopalan, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.